Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Today I've got a quick video for you. Basically, I've had a bit of a weird experience this week. I found myself getting really excited about three small pieces of plastic, one of which is a simple round disc with two holes in it. Why am I excited about this stuff? Well, it's my first experience messing around with 3D printing. It's a technology that I've been aware of for a long time, but I've never really looked deep into it. I wasn't sure how it would impact my DJ life. So I've just kind of not really looked at it at all. But for a while, I've been following this company, Scratch Toys. They make these inserts for the PTO on turntables, which let you play music internally from an SD card or over Bluetooth and then scratch over the top. Really nice idea. They've got a new version coming soon, which I'll be reviewing here on the channel. But I noticed in their social media, they were also sharing some designs, some files of designs that they've made for 3D printable stuff, add-ons for the PTO on Scratch and they were just sharing them with the community for free. So I thought, right, how am I gonna get these done? I have a 3D printer, so how am I gonna do this? Well, I found a, a service called 3D Hubs. There are probably many others like it, but it puts you in touch with 3D printers in your area. So I found one just down the road from me, sent them the files that I downloaded from Scratch Toys, and they quoted me like $15 in total for all three pieces. 24 hours later, from a file I had, three different little accessories for the PTO One Scratch. I think that's a pretty exciting concept. So what have we got? Well, we've got a blanking plate, first of all, if you're using your PTO One Scratch with an external fader, which you'll need to do if you wanna use DVS with it. If you've got those new seven inch Serato control records, you will need to use an external fader. So why not take out the switch and just blank it off with this one. They've also got an external mount for the Mini Inno Fader 2, which now works with the PTO One Scratch. You feed up the connector underneath, put it on there, bolt it in place, and there you go, mounted nice and simple. And also they've got one for the Jesse Dean JDD X2RS fader, which is a fader I really love. But in my case, I'm swapping out for different faders and stuff all the time. And to actually install and remove the Jesse Dean fader, you have to take the whole turntable apart. It's a bit of a mission. Well, now I have an external mount for my Jesse Dean fader on top of my PTO One Scratch. Again, the connector feeds through underneath and it's in place, nice and solid feel, you know, much better than just Velcroing something on the top. So this is why I'm making this video, right? Because 3D printing has impacted the portableism scene definitely. There are tone arms out there, for example, you know, Flesh One from BeatShelter.com has the 3D printed tone arm they've been selling for a while. They've got some little feet that turn the lid of your PTO One into a stand and this kind of stuff. So there's definitely things happening in the portableism scene, but I'd love to see this technology be adopted more widely in the DJ world. I want the community to start A, sharing designs that you've come across, and B, actually start putting out some ideas. You know, if you can't do the 3D design yourself, put the idea out there. Let's see if someone can make that, and then it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you'll be able to find someone with a 3D printer close to you who can do the job. Nothing too big. This is the thing. Most of these machines, unless they're the very big industrial ones, they can't really go too large. So we're talking about small accessories, add-ons and that kind of stuff, little widgets like these things from the Scratch Toys crew. But yeah, there's gotta be some potential there. For example, as well, the Damir brand crew, they uh, make these awesome little funky 45 RPM adapters in the shape of donuts and stuff like that. They sent me through a couple of custom 3D printed Mojax ones as well. Really nice little touch. Again, simple, affordable, there's got to be some potential out there. So the point of making this video is, I wanna to say to you lot, you guys and girls, have you seen any cool 3D print designs that you can point the community to that we can actually go and get them printed ourselves? Have you got any ideas for small little widgets that perhaps, or add-ons or accessories that we can come up with collectively? And we're not just talking about portableism. I think you know the whole DJ scene, all of the actual equipment out there there's got to be some potential for little plastic parts that you can't buy anywhere else, you can't find anywhere else. Let's get talking about them, let's get sharing them, and let's get printing. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.